Oh, look at donkey. And another donkey. And like you see, Oi. police here. I think yeah, it has like the bed separate up here. It's quite funky, we've got these little disco light. Yeah. Although we need a disco light, but why not? If we can have one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are in Popeye. Yeah, the bus was three and a half hours. Yeah, three and a half, four hours. Four hours, I think, yeah. Four hours, think, four yeah. hours from Cali to Popeye. Mm -hmm. And the interesting part was we got stopped over by an army. Yeah, there was an army we... checkpoint, wasn't there? Sort mm -hmm. of thing. And they were like checking our hand luggage, which is a bit strange. And then all the... I sat in the first seat next to the driver and there were so many like army people. And at one point there were like soldiers just standing there with like thumbs up. Yeah. It was so strange, but I couldn't record it and had the GoPro next time if I see that front, I'll take it. Yeah, so yeah, it was strange, yeah, they pulled the bus over, an army guy came on with an assault rifle, said, told everyone to get off the bus. I took a picture actually. So uh, we all got off the bus, and there was another three army guys, all with their rifles, standing there going through all our bags, while we were all off the bus, another guy went onto the bus to check everything. And then after they were happy, they let us back on the bus and on our way. So, oh yeah, if you can see that. You can see the rifle. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. So we're in Popping out for two days, two mm -hmm. nights. So, so we're we'll exploring the city today. Yeah, so we're going to go out now. We're going to have mm -hmm. a walk around. There's a really nice restaurant we want to go to, which does these amazing empanadas, apparently. I don't know. With if peanut they're... sauce. I don't know if they'll be as good as Villa de Leon. Villa de Leon ones. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but Popeye Anne is known for good food apparently. Mm -hmm. And it's white buildings. It's known as the White City. Yeah. So that's what it's known for. So we will try some of this food. We'll have a walk around and go see a few sites. And then tomorrow we might go to a thermal spa. But we're gonna look tonight to see what we're gonna do tomorrow, see the main things we can do and mm -hmm. what and pick, just pick the best thing and try and do that. So we're just gonna get ready and then we're gonna head back out. Yeah, we've got Bye. Bye. So we're going to our first site. Yeah. And it's a uh, Pyramid El Moro de Tolkien, which is this. El Moro de Tolkien. So yeah, it's yeah pre-Columbian period. Older than, it's 500 BC, like older than that as well. This was, this pyramid was made and I'm going to say the bodies that were buried here show that it was a uh, high class society people that were buried on this pyramid. So we're going to go up to the top, have a look, see if there's a good view. And there's a little statue at the top apparently, but I cannot see it from here. There's no, there's no clear way up. Do we just go up these makeshift paths? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm following your instincts here. How you doing? Struggling. I know, it's just a small hill. And we're struggling. <laughs> it's quite steep. Yeah, it is. We're not that far from the top though. Here we are. The top. And this is Popeye Ann. So it turns out there was a proper path. Yeah, it looks quite nice as well and easy. Easy, yeah, like a gradual climb, whereas we just straight in, straight Literally, up. And there was like so many like bit young lads sitting there, I swear one of them asked us if we want to buy some drugs or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you thought you heard. I didn't yeah, I didn't hear I what you said. But. That's what he said. And like, I shake the head and he left us alone. <laughs> so at least you said no. Yeah, yeah obviously. Unless you said, do you not want drugs? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that supposed to be like a statue? Or is it just a I thought there was supposed to be a statue. Maybe a statue is somewhere else. Maybe it's a different one. 
This is where the statue was supposed to be on top of here. I looked on TripAdvisor before, and there was a statue of a man on a horse, uh, Sebastian del Belalcazar, who I, I guess you could say discovered Popayan. He really conquered it back in the day. But his statue's been taken down. I have no idea why. decided to be normal and go down the normal way. The yeah. So uh, Popayan is capital of uh, Cauca, um, that's a region in Colombia obviously, and on the British government side it says strictly uh, prohibited of going south of Cauca. So uh, maybe that's why we saw a lot of military? Possibly. Yeah. But, so yeah, this is the I mean, this place in itself is fine. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Popian is fine, yeah. and there's a route through south of Popian which you can get to the border, like one slim passage. Mm -hmm. And um, if you think about coca, so it's a little bit like um, I call water, it. Water. A no, gracias. No, gracias. <laughs> it's like a sperm shape, I call it. The region, it's like, <laughs> to show it, sort of like this, and it goes like short, so we are like here, and uh, I assume the south is. It's the no-go zone. No-go. So we're far okay. from so dangerous, I guess. We're far, but I think we're getting close to it. There's yeah. a lot to the west as well is no-go too. Yeah, even Cali, like all the west of Cali was no-go and uh, Popayan west of Popayan is no-go as well. So we are like right on the edge of the dangerous zone. So it's quite right on the edge. But if it was dangerous here on the edge, they wouldn't let you come. We wouldn't. We be stupid not. enough to come. Yeah, to. we we decided we're going. We're sticking to the British government. Yeah, yeah. Site. So we've done the hill. Uh, this is it here, and now we're gonna head into town. There's a few things to see. We want to try these empanadas from La Fresa. I think the shop's called, uh, which is famous there. Like in the Lonely Planet book, they're in blogs everywhere. This restaurant, these empanadas. Really looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah. Peanut sauce. With spicy peanut sauce sounds good. Hopefully they live up to what we're expecting. As you walk closer to the centre, you can see why it's called the White City. Just pure white everywhere. You say that every now and again. It's graffiti. graffiti. I wonder if that was some sort of protest because it seems like a lot of it is on. There's a lot of graffiti on the white walls. Maybe closer to the city, there's less, but back there, there's loads. Actually, I can see more graffiti up there. So it's the White City with graffiti. <laughs> Which kind of ruins it a little bit. Yeah. Or quite a lot actually. What on earth? We wanted to go in the cathedral but obviously it's a Tuesday. Oh, and Tuesday they to like to close things. And this used to be a home to a uh, Andes crown. Crown of the Andes. Which at the moment is in America and New York. Yeah, so the crown of the Andes is some Incan treasure. I used to sit on the head of a statue of Virgin Mary inside, which hopefully we can see tomorrow when it's open. Um, but then they sold it to Americans. Americans, and now it's an American museum. Yeah. This is the place we're talking about. La Fresa Empanadas de Pipian, that's what we want. Yeah. See? Let's go try it. Empanadas and shampoo. Do you know what shampoo is? Shampoo. Fruit. Really interesting. Should we check actually? Yeah. I'll Google it. Shampoo. Should I go and translate? So we've got shampoo. Kasha translated it directly as shampoo. So I'm not sure I want to drink it. But <laughs> Should I give it a go? Yeah, try it. Um. It smells fruity. Right? You more eat it than drink it. Let's try it. Yeah. It's a mixture of food. Okay. Kind of know why they're 400 each. They are very small. Tiny, tiny. Peanut sauce. So. I'm interested for Kasha to try. Mmm, it's hot. Oh, I love this. Okay. Mm. Yeah. 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 
You scan at that canal just spicy. I like the sauce. Yeah, interesting. I like the peanut sauce. But they're very deep fried. What's this? Yeah. Considering how famous these are, I was expecting like world beaters. Yes. It's, I think Still it's good. all about the sauce. Mm. Okay, the most popular thing to wash down the empanadas here are with this. Do you want to give it first go? Yeah. I'm not sure what that is either. This is pony. Pony. Looks like a beard. Oh. Malt based soda. Oh, it's familiar. Yeah. Mm. You don't like it? It's like a blood um, drink. It's like what? Yeast drink? Yeast. You know, we went to Harry Potter Studios. Oh, yeah. Mm. And they served us the, mm -hmm. the beer that's famous in Harry Potter. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, it tastes a bit that's like That's what it tastes like. Butter beer? I think you searched it before. Butter beer. Of course. That's, it what, it sounds, that's yeah. what it tastes like, yeah? Yeah, plus that's what it reminds me. a lot of sugar. Did you like it? I didn't it's like right. it. I like oh. the butter beer when I drank it. Oh, you good, didn't. I didn't. Yeah, so I don't like okay. it. So I keep the juice. I will keep this. Okay, we ordered eight more, so what, 18 overall, because we're fatties. Okay, so we just came out of La Perosa. We had uh, 18 empanadas. I'm not even tiny. ashamed to say so. Tiny. That's our excuse, they're small. That's why we had 18. We could have eaten more. I'm still hungry. First coffee, Kasha. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah? Yum, yum, yum. Let's go over here. Yes, that's weird. It's quite strong. Yeah. Punta del Humiadero. That's this bridge. Built in the 19th century to connect the rich part of town with the poor north part of town. Oh, so we're in the rich part of town? Yeah, we were. And across there was the poor part. And so they built it in the 19th century. So that hill we went there? That's the hill we went up. You can see it behind the trees at the start of the day. That's the hill we went to. So, uh, Popeyang itself, it has a lot of history. Um, just a pretty town with white buildings, um, tons of churches, and yeah, a lot of history. Um, but overall, it's not much else to do here, really. No, I mean, we can do the hot springs, but this bridge here was built in the 17th century wow. and this was so the monks could use it to uh, bring aid to the poor so that was built a lot earlier it's a lot older full of knowledge full of knowledge there's the river oh Bit my god it's a massive river they need to build this enormous bridge for this tiny ship so we're going to go over the Monk Bridge. Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, me too. Like, whoop, whoop. Yeah. And you've been drinking out of bin, bin cups. So this is the big bridge from below. I think we just go off with drugs again. Oh. Do we look like drugs? It's a better city, we got over twice. No yeah. Never over it. Nowhere else, just here. Please don't do that again. <laughs> that was my new salsa, landing in Cali. Oh, stinks. Oh, wow. to get to uh, hot springs so 
Or do we want to go to National Park? We'll decide. But yeah, we've had a nice dinner and now we're just going to go chill out. Right. And we we'll Yeah. Let's go. Hey, Hello. 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 So it's the next day in Port Bayan and we've decided we're going to go to Thermal Baths Yeah The hot springs We were looking see what at it's the about. National Park It does look really cool but that would mean we would spend three hours each way on the bus and because we are always on the bus we don't want to waste the day And, and it's the hot quite expensive springs, you said as well didn't you? I know the tours are but to go to the park is free Okay Yeah Three hours on the bus Yeah so it would take six hours of our day. We will be shattered. Uh, so yeah, we thought to do uh, 45 minutes on the bus. And go to the hot springs. And stay at the hot springs. And then... They're not like the nice to look off, but actually they've got healing properties. So it's been quite nice because we're not just like bathing in a hot tub. We're actually um, having some sort of healing. We're at the bus terminal and we just got our tickets. This is our bus. It looks Going quite to... nice. 5066 Kokonuro. Kokonuko. Kokonuko. Kokonuku. Kokonuku. That's where the thermal bar, so we're gonna have to get off there and. It said to take a motor taxi, but we think we might walk. Yeah, we can walk Should here. If it's done. within half an hour, we'll walk. Yeah, half an hour is nothing. But yeah, quite cool bus. Nice little bus. So we uh, got us from the bus in that village. Kokonuka. Kokonuka. So we went to a bakery to get some food and some guy de que parte son, de que país? asked us to get in the car with him. <laughs> Uh, interesting. So we just made friends. We didn't understand what you were doing. Yeah, so we're in uh, Kokonuko. We we're in a bakery, fully prepared to buy cookies and pastries. <laughs> and this guy came up to us, started talking about the thermal baths. I uh, thought he's the taxi driver. Yeah, it turns out he wanted to share a taxi up there. So straight away, took us from the bakery to a car who brought us here. No, no. First, he asked the lady at the bakery like where the taxis, and she got us somewhere. Oh yeah. Uh, this like 40 year old car. So we paid another 7,000 <laughs> for the taxi. What worked out well because no one was uh, shouting like taxi, taxi. No, exactly. We wouldn't have known what to do. So, and it was quite a long walk, like yeah. four, four kilometers, if not a bit longer. I think it was longer. It yeah, seemed it was like quite ages. a long drive. Yeah. Anyway, we think we've arranged to meet up with these people at five to go back to Kokonuko and then to Popayan. Because it seemed like they're taking the bus as well. There. So we're gonna have a look around, go into thermal baths which are up here and go toilets and relax. So this is it, this is oh, the Oh and by the way, online it said like um, people put on blogs that it costs 7,000, 13,000, whatever. 30,000. 30,000 each and they all pay the same price so it's not like we're being good off as to tourists. Yeah, yeah. 30,000 each. Yeah. But let's go get changed. So we're going in the colder one first, 34 degrees. Kasha, how are you enjoying the thermals? Huh? Oh. The views are actually quite nice of the mountains. <laughs> I thought you've been like this the whole time, Kasha. Just relaxed and chilled out. How you should do it. We think. We need to go have a cold shower. Is it cold? Cold? <laughs> really? How is it?
So the thermal bath. So this one is so warm and so nice. And we've got good view up into the mountains. It's actually a nice view all around. It's raining, so it's quite cool. It is raining. Right, we're done. We'll probably come back to the thermal bath in a bit later. We're just going to walk around, see what else is in the site. Because I think there's more to it than just these two pools. Turns out there's quite a bit more. There's another pool down there. There's the entrance. We didn't go to the entrance. There's the slide. If you want to go on the slide. No? You can. Yeah, I don't like slides. I find them painful. So I'm happy to record you all. So we've come to this restaurant next to the thermal pools. Uh, it's quite a nice place. So we've got chucked out the restaurant. We joined some wedding party. Yeah. So we went to this little tiny shop next door. So we bought this. This, whatever this is, we don't know. Some I've seen crisps, that before in this. I never seen it. Some cheese balls and some choco ramos. Well, like a donut. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Um, not sweet. Deep fried. Stay donut. <laughs> Very salty. Mm. Right, we're gonna eat this. And um, attempt to make our way back to the thermal pools. I mean, the weather's not great, but it doesn't matter when you're sat in the thermal pool, I guess. Cool us off a bit. So we had our slap up meal, crisps, weird donuts, and a chocolate. Mm -hmm. And now we're heading back to the thermal spa. Look at the view. Amazing, yeah? Yeah, we're lucky it stopped raining. Oh, look at this little poochie, poochie, poochie. Why are you in the middle of nowhere, hey? Go back home. Hey, go back home, doggy. Surely there's someone. Oh, no, we've got doggy friend now. Oh, yeah, because you stroked it, Dan. You stroke it? You always do. Yes, you do. I just said, hello, doggy. I tapped it on the head. Exactly. Now he's going to get eaten by the massive dog. Oh, no. We're leading him to his doom. Mm -hmm. He's gone. God, what are the views are amazing. Really are, with the cloud it just looks mm. all that more magical. Okay, it's Kasha, it's the entire pool to herself. Huh? Are you making the most of having the pool to yourself? Hey, uh, I'm so relaxed. So relaxed. Down, down. Oh, it's so hot in here. So we're relaxing so. in the pool. So hot. It's very hot. We might go to the cooler one in a minute mm -hmm. and then we'll try maybe kayaking now because the rain stopped. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's go now. Let's go now. Danny's going on a slide. It looks quite dangerous, so good luck to him. Oh! Wow! <laughs> that looked so crazy. Did you love it? It's so fast. I told you I'm not going. It's crazy fast. So, what do you think about the experience? <coughs> when you come around the last few bends, there's so much water going in your face, you just you can't see and you don't know where the end is, so you just got a prey. <laughs> So uh, we decided we're going to go on them. We we're going to leave our backpack here hanging for one day. Yeah, so. lost yeah. 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 With what? Happy to go? Yeah, I'm happy to go, but okay. I think. Let's go. Yeah, the kayaking was fun. Yeah, it was fun. It's just a short trip. I mean, there's no one there to watch you or stop you getting on or whatever. You just literally go up to the lake, grab a kayak and go. 
So if you drown, no one will know. No. So we finished in thermal pools, had a little shower, got changed. The only thing we didn't bring salt, so we might have some green goo on us still. Got some green goo. A mm. uh, beautiful place, really nice place. Say 30,000 to get in per person. Yeah. Well, it's, it's going to be hard to see for anyone that it's a nice place because of the fences and things. Yeah. But when you're sitting in there, it's lovely. Yeah, and they're doing this one. The hottest pool, which we didn't have. They're doing work to it. I don't know if we could handle it though. Yeah, I don't think I should handle it. Also, it's almost 5 o'clock and we're supposed to go back with um, this uh, family. <laughs> but they're not here yet. They're still here somewhere. Yeah. I think they're getting changed. Yeah. If not, if it comes to 5 o'clock. We'll have to go up there and try and get a taxi ourselves somehow. So we think we've got a taxi. The guys have just sorted it out. We're running out of time yeah. to get she to the next town. Five people. So we need to get to the clock as well. Four, six. To get the only bus back to pop my hand. Look at this bus, yo. Yeah? Muchas gracias, adios! Hi! It's a car! There she is! Uh, oh, oh my god! So, hello! Uh, we're back in our hostels, we made it. It was a bit weird today, so like you know, we met these people and they wanted to get a taxi with us and then they wanted to get a taxi with us with us back and then they couldn't get it and all that drama we were panicking a little bit thinking oh it's like 20 past five the buses the taxi wasn't there and the bus is at six and whatever anyway on the end the taxi did turn up we got to to it we got to coco Kuno. and there was another back taxi and they were like oh let's swap yeah. <laughs> like changing taxi for what? Uh, but uh, you know what? We just thought we're just gonna go in it, and he turned up. We we got into the second taxi. We asked how much um, he is to Popayan, and it was only sixteen thousand. And bus would have cost us fourteen thousand. So literally, we paid twenty pence more. And they dropped us off right outside the hostel. Yeah. And it was pulling down, so and we were cold and just. So we good so deal lucky. there, I think. Really good deal, but it was a little bit like, oh my god, like what's going on? Yeah. Like how, like from going on the bus, we all got a taxi. Yeah. Yeah. It worked out well. We're back in the hostel. We just had a really nice dinner. Mm. We found this lovely restaurant. Um which is not on TripAdvisor, by luck we just walked past and they ask us, uh, they give us a piece of paper and pen uh, to give them some music requests, song requests mm. and yeah, just a really nice place really nice place, nice food great if you're like in a group of people as yeah. well yeah, Don Fierro, I think it was, yeah, it's called Don Fierro mm. it's only on Google, the reviews, not on TripAdvisor but really so good food, you... cheap mm -hmm. and really nice area and so they let us pick the music and it's just like yeah, it had this good nice vibe to it very like um i don't know it's just nice so if you ever come to popayan just you should definitely go to that place definitely highly recommend it yeah. anyway this is it for popayan yeah that's it that's the end for popayan tomorrow morning we get an a bus to san agustin we're gonna be there for three days for new year. new year and it's supposed to be really nice and there's a few archaeological sites there mm -hmm. which we we'll really want to visit so yeah. we'll see you in San Agustin see you there bye, bye. Hello, hello from, from San, San Agustin. Agustin oh no we still, <laughs> we're still we're still in Popayan <laughs> first so. transport drama or major transport drama we got to the bus station this morning and we tried to book a bus to San Agustin because we've got a hotel there tonight for three nights and we really struggled so it was sold out or had one seat left here there and one company had a, 
the bus. They said, oh, we've got a bus at 2 p.m. to San Agustin. And we looked at each other and thought, well, that's quite late. Surely yeah. there's, there's other buses to San Agustin around. There must be. So we walked up and down. We asked another place which said on the Red Bus app that there were buses available. And they said, no, they've got nothing till tomorrow. And we're like, OK, we'll just have to book the 2 p.m. one. We went back to that one, sold out. And there's no other buses all day to San Went Agustin. To, uh, the bus ticket, uh, two, two tickets would have cost us 100,000. And we, so we thought we was going to check the taxi. But he said 500,000. 500,000. So yeah, 100 pounds to get a taxi. So we thought, no. <laughs> no. And then, and then we thought about getting a bus to somewhere else and transferring. But but that would have been like a whole day journey. So, so what we did is we booked another night here for six pounds. It's really cheap. And we're gonna go back to the bus terminal this afternoon and book our bus for tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's another thing. So we we thought like, oh, he's gonna be clever and book pre-book the tickets this time for tomorrow. But no, none of the bus companies mm. know what time the buses will leave tomorrow. Not until tomorrow. Not until this afternoon. One company said they will find out two o'clock. The second company they will find out at five o'clock. So he's gonna come back at two o'clock first, and then we might need to go back at five. Just to book our tickets for tomorrow and just take what we get. So I'm going to message the San Agustin Hotel now, say we can't make it tonight, hopefully they're nice enough to cut that off the bill, cut one night off mm -hmm. and maybe an, add another night on the other end because we want three nights in San Agustin. But our New Year's Eve is going to be travelling which we yeah. didn't want to do but, but that's okay. Could have been worse. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna message him we now. Could've, it could have been worse. We could have been stuck yesterday in that little place without hot, hotel. Yeah, exactly. So it could have been a lot worse. Could have been like sleeper on the street. Kokokuno, whatever yeah. it's called. Um, so we're gonna. There's a few more bits we could see in Popayan. So we're gonna go check those out. Definitely, traveling over south of um, Colombia is a little bit harder yeah. for tourists. It's much easier, like Bogota upwards, Medellin upwards. We it's a lot seen, easier to get around. I haven't seen anyone speaking English really. No, we haven't seen any gringos as they say in Popayan. Oh yeah, we haven't seen any like European tourists, yeah? Not American, European, none. No. Seems like it's just us, even at the thermal baths yesterday. Yeah, no one. No one. Yeah. No Not one. a very touristy location. Not at all, yeah. It's and quite it, nice in a way. In a way it's quite nice. But, yeah, but it's it's, it's uh, harder, harder to get around. Yeah, but it's much harder, yeah. So you've got to plan it a bit better than we just done now. But hey, we learn. That's okay. Yeah. It's okay. I'll say we'll go see a few more places. Yeah, we've got nothing booked after San Augustin, so yeah. So yeah, we'll add another night on and then see what we're gonna do. Yeah. So we're approaching a museum. Yeah. Natural history museum? Yeah, pretty much. This big building. Yeah. Oh, that was a fun trip to the museum. Uh, it's a holiday, so they open in 12th of January. 12th of January? Yeah. But the interesting part is, when you walk around, uh, in Popayan, it's the first time where all the shops, like most of the shops, are behind bars. Yeah. You can't actually go in. Most of them. Nearly all of them. Yeah. I think uh, just the supermercados. Supermarkets are not. Are they shops? So yeah, this is a shop, you've got a window, and yeah, behind the bar, there is a bakery, there. behind bars, behind the bar. It, it makes you wonder a little bit how safe this town is, especially yesterday when we were going with the locals, uh, they asked us to close the door from Pepsi from inside. Yeah, they asked us to lock the door. Yeah. So there's and all the army, the army presence on the way here and I've been offered drugs a few times here. Oh yeah. All the signs point to this not being the safest place. Maybe you should start eating healthier if you look like a drug if they offer you some drugs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, continue. <laughs> also, uh, did we say about the, all the graffiti, what happened? The, so Popian is supposed to be the white city, but uh, when we came, we were a bit disappointed because there, there is a graffiti everywhere. But it turned out uh, there was some riots, there was protests against the president, a new uh, law, um, and um, we assume that's what happened through the protest. It yeah, one was of the protesters, one of the leaders of the protesters, got killed, assassinated apparently. 
and there was more riots because of this. Mm -hmm. And that was here in Propayan. Yeah. That was in September time, but whether it's continued or it's just like le left over. Yeah, but I imagine before this it was quite a pretty town. So we are just outside of Iglesia, what was it then? We are just outside of Iglesia de Santo Domingo and there is a mass going on so we will just sneak really quietly just to quickly have a look inside. donkey and another donkey and like you see Hi. police here on the corner so, and here in this city center there's a lot of them <laughs> after seeing so much we had into the same restaurant we went yesterday because we're staying extra night here so we paid for the hotel here and San Agustin. Oh, yeah, we're, sure, so we're really trying to cut down on what yeah. we spent and the presser, the empanadas there are so cheap. Yeah, so we've got to get 10 each. Eight, pen, eight pence for an empanada. Yeah. So we're going to get loads. Yeah, and then after we're going to go to a bakery and pick out on really cheap um, pastries and cookies and things. Yeah. And that will be our meal today and probably more, cake, more bakery. Yeah. Just so we don't spend a lot of money. So we're going to try it for Go on the bare minimum today. Yeah. So we found this market accidentally. Food looks good. This is all like food. So we eventually got out of Bob I am. Um, bit of a drama again. A bit of a drama. We went to the bus terminal last night. They said we've got to come in the morning to get the bus I when they're available. So we got up early. Got to the bus station about half seven, eight o'clock. Went to the counter and they said they're not running anymore no. to San Agustin. So we were like, oh my God. No buses running to San Agustin again. We didn't want to spend another night in Popayan. So, so we went to this Italito. one. The Tolito. That's where we're going and they're going to stop at San Agustin Cruz, I think it's called. Yeah. And we've got to get a um, taxi. taxi from there to San Agustin. And no wonder there's not many buses running this route. Apart from this road here, the last three and a half hours, three hours, we've we been on like the worst road imaginable my neck is hurting. like getting thrown about up down left right is terrible so that's probably why there's not many buses it was us, running um, probably was worst like shaky wise than the um, jardine one yeah the hardin one was really bad and this one yeah was worse You're just getting thrown about all over the place yeah but now it looks like the rest of the way is going to be mm -hmm. hopefully nice roads and we stopped at uh, was the services the oh yeah services it's like a restaurant chicken. and a couple of toilets. There were chickens running around. Chickens running so about. Can and you can play basketball if you want. Mm. If you're not scared that you're gonna die, crushed by a lorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can play basketball if you want. And you're dead. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so um, this is the end of the vlog. End of the Popeye one. And the next one obviously is gonna be San Agustin, Yay. where we're spending New Year's, which on New Year's Eve today yeah. so we're going to go out for a meal tonight and uh, well, enjoy the town and stay there a few days yeah. Looking forward to it. see bye. you later bye, bye.